Why are there websites in my browser history I've never been to? I get a lot of people worried about this. I also get the significant others of a lot of people worried about this as well. Why are there websites in my browser history I've never been to? Occasionally, sites appear in your browser history that you've never visited. I'll examine some possible causes. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thank you to my patrons for making Ask Leo possible. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information. Question. I periodically clean my browser history, but after a while, website entries begin to appear in it that I've never actually been to. Some of these sites look quite disturbing and are not sites that I would ever go to. Why would these entries appear? Do I have spyware or a virus? It's usually nothing to worry about. Certainly malware is a possibility. I'll also call out foistware or potentially unwanted programs, PUPs, software that appears on your system unexpectedly after installing something else. However, there are many more benign scenarios. It's possible your browser may be simply doing a good job protecting you. Malware. Malware often works by forcing your browser to go places you would never go. Pups in particular can add toolbars and other software to your system that intercepts what you're doing and just rudely takes over, sending you to bogus search sites or worse. These days, my first recommendation when you run into unexpected history entries is to make sure your machine has no malware. In particular, I suggest you run the tools outlined in How Do I Remove Pups, Foistware, Drive-Bys, Toolbars, and Other Annoying Things I Never Wanted. Traditional Pop-Ups and Pop-Unders. Many websites employ pop-ups, additional browser windows that open when you visit the site. These typically contain ads for which the site owner gets paid. Pop-unders are similar. They are additional browser windows created when you visit a site, but placed behind your current browser window so they'll be visible when you exit the browser. Pop-up blockers, now built into most browsers, keep pop-up and pop-under windows from displaying. The blockers intercept the requests to create the new browser windows and prevent them. My theory is that the URLs behind blocked pop-ups sometimes still appear in your history, having been added to the list before the pop-up is blocked. You've never seen the site, but it's there in the list. One page, many sources. Some web pages that look like a single page are actually a composite of more than one page or page fragments. What you see as a single URL may have fetched content from several different sites. Depending on how your browser handles these requests, it's possible that these page elements could appear as individual entries in your history. You wouldn't recognize them because they're not pages you explicitly visited, but they're present because they were part of some page you did. Browser prefetch. Many web browsers now include a feature where they begin fetching the pages linked to in the page you're currently viewing. The idea is that when you click a link on the page, if all or even some of it has already been downloaded, it'll come out much more quickly. That there's downloading going on you didn't explicitly ask for is typically not an issue because you're busy reading the page you originally requested. Once again, when these pages appear in the browsing history or not depends on the browser. In theory, I'd only expect them to appear for links you've actually clicked or pages you've actually viewed, but browser designers could decide otherwise. Most of the time, this preload feature is something you can turn off in the options for the specific browser you're using. Mostly harmless. Ultimately, unless someone else is using your computer when you're not looking, which is also something worth checking for, I believe this issue is typically benign. However, that shouldn't stop you from taking the appropriate precautions to keep your computer safe. For links related to this article or leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 2624. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.